I-54 is a unique opportunity for the West Midlands region that was sitting there waiting to be acted upon and back in 2011 it was just open ground. But South Staffordshire District Council took the view they wanted high quality employment that brought better paid jobs for their area. It was a major boost that uh, MOVE were looking to relocate to I-54 South Staffordshire together with Eurofins and when uh, Jaguar Land Rover also came, interested in uh, their engine factory on the site, uh, we were very interested in uh, seeing that uh, we could provide everything that they needed to uh, come to South Staffordshire. The Jaguar Land Rover investment could have gone anywhere in the world. It was really important for us to try and secure this. Obviously, as a site, it is superbly located in the uh, centre of the country and very strategically close to most of the main JLR car manufacturing plants. Uh, but nevertheless, it was by no means a done deal. And I think the important thing is that we actually got together very, very quickly, made decisions quickly, impressed the management of Jaguar Land Rover with our, with our, our willingness to commit to the scheme. It was a major decision that I believe took very few minutes to make because it was a case of we either have the investment here or we don't. Once we'd agreed that um, the plan should go ahead and Jaguar Land Rover signed up, we knew that we'd got to get there at this motorway junction completed at the same time that they were building their factory. The construction on the site obviously employed an awful lot of local people, both in terms of the construction of the JLR engine plant itself and also in terms of the, um, uh, the, the, the motorway junction. There's a new bridge over the M54, uh, was built offline and then jacked up moved over under a single night closure and lifted into place. It's a massive achievement, the amount of planning and organisation which goes into a bridge of that size. Everything's planned down to minute sections. I cannot underestimate the strength of working in partnership between the three councils and Jaguar Land Rover. To enable a project like this to succeed, you need close working partnership. We've had that on this project. So. Hats off to all those involved with this project because they delivered it on time, on budget. First motorway junction built by a local authority. Well done. I think the, the overall reaction from people is, is one of excitement and enthusiasm. I think when people see what goes on in some of these buildings, it really gives them a sense of aspiration and ambition. The reason it's the right place for Eurofins is, um, first of all, it's location. So being on a motorway junction is very important for us. We have a fleet of about 30 drivers who are nationwide every day and have to come back. So ease of access was important for us as well. Moog had the vision of creating a world-class manufacturing facility in the UK, and I-54 South Staffordshire provided us with that framework. For us, it was the high-tech environment and the fact that we're a specialist company, but actually the image, you know, the image of this site, uh, we can sell ourselves to the whole world. It's fantastic. I-54 has been, like I say, a platform for promoting the area, the profile that it's, it's given us. Um, it's really put the area on the map. It is a tremendous boost to the area, and it's given us confidence, and confidence to our inward investors to come to I-54 South Staffordshire. The fact that local government can deliver, and we've shown local government can deliver, is really important in the delivery of new, uh, new economic growth for this country, which we so desperately need. This is rebalancing of the economy, exports, and real wealth in real people's pockets, and been proud to be in it right from the start. <laughs>